Some people make millions. Some people make memes. <laughs> Some just play computer games. It was the summer of 2016. I just graduated high school. And every day, I kicked it with my friends, Sean and Derek. These are two guys that I've known since way back in preschool. And although we're four years apart, we all love three things. Gaming, good music, and good weed. <laughs> and that's what we did. Uh, we'd head over to this internet cafe in your Belinda called IGZ. It's a place where they have computers set up so that you can pay to use the internet and play games. But this was not your regular internet cafe. This place was in the center of a dead and shady plaza. This tiny shithole was run 24-7 and was home to the homeless, the druggies, and the delinquent gamers like me. <laughs> this this um, tiny place was run 24-7 by this short, stubby Korean man that we called Hyung, which meant older brother in Korean. He'd carry around this hammer that doubled as his weapon and his back massager. He carried that weapon because trouble lurked every night, whether it was drug out crazies, the homeless, or him yelling at me so he can go home and sleep. This place was beyond shady, but it soon became my home and my comfort. On that day, I woke up, washed up, looked at the time, 10 a.m., took my ass straight to IGZ to meet up with my friends. There, we spent 10 hours playing computer games. No food, no drinks, just cigarette breaks, and right back to the grind. Looking back, it was probably the biggest waste of my time, <laughs> and I fucking loved it. <laughs> After our 10 hour session, we went outside to go smoke some cigarettes and to unwind by smoking some weed. So we hopped into my beautiful black Honda Civic, took out our THC vape pens, and started puffing away. Not even five minutes passed by, we're blown to shit. <laughs> Everything's heavy. My eyelids are heavy, my body's heavy shit, my brain is heavy. I look at my guys, Sean, he has this big goofy smile on his face. Derek, he's laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> so we ignore him. But I'm in a good mood, listening to some good music with some good company. Well, we keep smoking. Puff, after puff, after puff. And soon enough, my good mood turns into that shitty re feeling that we all know as regret. And I start to feel this anxiety and this tension start to boil inside of me. And that's when I hear this loud thud in the back of my car. I flinch, what the fuck? And I was about to open my door to see, it's this hooded figure running right past my car and into the parking lot. Right behind him, two canine dogs and four jack police officers chasing right after him. I freeze. I look at my guys, they look at me. And we're so faded, all we can do is just watch in silence as the shit show just unravels in front of us. 30 minutes pass, 10 cop cars have surrounded this neighborhood, surrounding this man. I go outside and check on my car for any damages. And there, on the back of my trunk, Imprinted on this layer of dust is just one traumatic handprint from the guy when he pushed off my car to run from the cops. When I'd seen that shit, I'd seen enough. Instinct kicked in, my body took me right back into IGZ. My friends followed, I didn't say anything. We went back and played five more hours of video games. <laughs> After those five hours, I had so much fun, I, I forgot about everything that had happened. Went home, slept like a baby. Now everybody has their one thing that they go to when they're in times of need, whether it be healthy or not. Mine was computer gaming in one of my strange experiences. Thank you.